Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at adding a sprite. We'll be using the source code from tutorial 6 as the base code which is multi-resolution support. If you don't have it don't worry there'll be a link in the description. Okay, though I will be doing this tutorial and most likely every other part of this series uh, on a Mac, it still applies for whatever platform you are on and whatever platform you are developing for. I will also be running the application in a web browser but running it on iOS, Android etc is fine. Just make sure you compile and run appropriately for the platform you are developing for. So before we actually do anything, I mean any coding, I should say, uh, what we're going to want to do is open up our project or actually I'm going to open it up in a web browser so you can see what it looks like at the moment and I'm going to do cocos run dash p web deploy it and this is what we have this is the project that we have at the moment. We've already got some animations, it's got some assets loaded in, and well, we essentially don't want that. So what we're gonna do is go to our source file, open up our app.js, and then within here, this is the current layer of the game. Before we actually add any code, we will clear out the constructor as by default, Cosmos 2 djs as we showed, add some code for sprites and menus, which will all be covered throughout this series. So to clear out the constructor, we're gonna just above return true, we wanna leave that in there. Delete it all the way to here. Because we're gonna be using the wind size, so we're not gonna delete that. So what is wind size? It's basically the window size, aka what we have available to play with aka what our screen size is. So what we're going to do now is create a sprite so var sprite. You assign it the value of new cc dot sprite dot create and in here this takes a file path so I'm going to res dot close close normal dot png and if I open up the finder open up resource.js, I'll actually add this as a tab in here. What you can see is close normal.png is this close normal.png file. So you can just easily add file paths here and then you can just access it using this keyword which is really cool. It's all like a hash define in let's say C++. Plus. So if you want to change the file name or change the file that you've got, you can keep the keyword the same, if it's still relevant and still use it. So undo any changes that we made in here. So yeah, back in here, I'm going to do sprite.set anchor point. Anchor point is basically the origin, so if you're rotating a sprite or a item, it is essentially the point that's rotating around if you're positioning it is that point that it's going to position it to. So we're going to set this to cc.p, which is basically Cocos positioning. 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. This is relative, so it's normalized to 0 and 1. So 0, 0 is in the bottom left, and 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 is in the center. So I'm going to do sprite dot set position, and in here cc dot p again. Anything to do with positioning, you use cc dot p. Size dot width divided by two, and then we're going to put size dot height divided by two. And the reason we use size is because it makes it more dynamic. It's always going to be centered then, unlike putting x amount of pixels by y amount of pixels. And the last thing to do is add this sprite as a child to the layer. To do that you do this dot add child sprite specify the z index. I'm just going to put zero. Save it and now if we just run this actually sorry running so if we refresh okay that didn't refresh let's open terminal back up Let's try running it again. 
Let's just try one last thing. Let's try clearing out the browser history. But you just want to get rid of the cached images and files. I found sometimes that. Okay, nothing is loading now. Let's have a look at inspect element. See if we've got an error. PNG undefined. Hmm. We go to our app.js line 15. Oh, there we go. It needs to be an underscore as that is the name and not the extension because we have our file here and we already have the extension. So if we save this, go back to our web browser refresh this now we get our sprite in the middle so there's a few tips actually two tips if it's not loading straight away just cache I mean just remove the cache images you don't need to remove any history it's just on Chrome you have to go to that obviously if you're on I don't know, Mozilla or Safari do the appropriate thing for removing cache images and files and just make sure you don't mess up like I did by putting a dot instead of an underscore so get your names correct and also clear cache. That is it for this tutorial and the next part of this series we're going to be looking at positioning using the move to method. If you have any questions feel free to message us at support uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.